Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we will be looking at this custom Jim Lee style inspired uh, Batman um, using the Batman Legacy modern version or you know modern style I'm not sure exactly what it was called <clears throat> um, from Mattel um, the basis for this uh, custom was the head sculpt that is currently on it right now which is the um, from the uh, previous custom that I showed you the uh, reactivated uh, from DC Direct reactivated Batman so I took off the head skull from that figure to make this custom. The original head that came with this figure was this uh, one that I mentioned reminded me of um, Christian Bale, Batman. Where is the trigger? You know, it's, uh, it's an alright head sculpt. I don't know where I'm going to use it right now but um yeah it does remind me a lot of christian bale but anyway this uh custom was inspired with with the head sculpt in mind so um because also the um the figure itself the body style of the figure the sculpting and everything just reminds me a lot of uh jim lee in his style uh, even more so than the actual uh, the um, the reactivated body, which was based off of the uh, Hush uh, storyline, uh, and of course Jim Lee's art. So uh, even though that one did do a good job, uh, again mostly with the head sculpt, but the body was a little off with the proportions. So uh, I decided to uh, make this custom using this body. And um, some of the things that um, that I made on this body, uh, you know, as far as changes go, uh, obviously, you know, the head and uh, the cape, right? The cape is made out of a, um, I'm pretty sure it's just a, a lycra, you know, so that stretchy material. Don't want to stretch it out too much because there's already some threading on uh, this part right here near the neckline so um, i'll be visible there i need to add a dab of super glue just to hold that intact intact but uh, i like the uh when i do my custom batmans i try to make the capes pretty big and large uh, you know and also um, you know not just long but you know large as far as from the back in future videos I'll show you how I go about you know making my uh, templates and how I do the um, uh, the shaping of the uh, of the cape for for Batman um, I use different, depending on the figure, I go different, um, you know, different styles. They're not all, not all the capes for my Batmans are the same. Uh, some are slightly shorter, some are slightly longer. Um, and the reason I laugh is just because there's one figure in particular that I'll be showing you that I made a cape that's uh, almost McFarlane-esque as far as its size uh, but yeah so uh, I'm still not uh, into doing um, wired capes although that's probably the next step for me doing wired capes because on this figure in particular I think it would uh, benefit from having a, uh, a wired cape so this is pretty much my version of the um, you know, there's the um, there's the Mafix uh, Hush Batman that came out um, a short while ago. So they had two versions. There's this one in the blue and gray, 
and there was another version in the black and gray so that was also partially the inspiration to make this custom was to get to have the both versions of the uh, hush uh, you know um, so now I have the uh, the blue and gray and now I have the black and gray as well So, uh, but yeah, this sculpt, this body sculpt is, is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of detail on it. Uh, the boots even have the, the detail. Um, the, um, as far as the cust what I customized on it, all right? So, the head sculpt. The head sculpt uh, uh, came from the reactivated Batman. It was blue. I had to paint it uh, black. The uh, paint that I used uh, is from a, uh, a local brand uh, here in uh, Mexico, which is actually a pretty good uh, paint. It's called uh, Pinto. And this is their uh, Van Vanguard line, Vanguardia. It's a pretty good, uh, uh, it's a very thick, well, I mean, not super thick, but it's thick paint. Uh, that needs thinning right and I used uh, my preferred method of thinning with uh, the um, the antiseptic uh, and as you can see on this feet on this head right uh, there are no real if any brush strokes It's all like a smooth finish, right? It's all a smooth finish. And once I let uh, the paint dry, I applied the, um, the, um, the clear over it, which is from the, uh, the Duplicolor clear that I use. Um, it's a matte uh, clear. Um, I uh, after I painted uh, the the uh, the cowl, um, I had to go in and redo the eyes as well, and they came out pretty good. Um, I don't know if they're slightly crooked, but I think they're pretty spot on. Um, and I also had to repaint the portion of the. Of the exposed uh, face you know the chin and everything uh, I had to do my own um, skin tone uh, mix probably not the, the light is not doing a good job of picking up the color let me see if I turn it off I think you can see the skin tone there. Right there, you can pretty much see it. Uh, I'll do a, um, a video later on because I had to mix it. I had to do my own skin tone. So I'll show you how I accomplished that. Okay, so um, now the the other part of the custom besides the cape is, you know, re how to apply the cape, right? Because um, the figure, let me remove the head skull. I, I used uh, the, uh, the cowl portion here, the neckline of the uh, actual, uh, you know, cape that came with the figure, which I have right here. You can see this is what I cut off from the uh, from the cape portion, but I had to do a little more reshaping, as you can see, because this was a pretty thick um, uh, plastic. 
So what I had to do is with my uh, with my Dremel, not this. <laughs> I didn't use that. I used um, a different. Um, let's see, a sanding drum. I used a round sanding drum like this, and I had to go and you know reshape and take off plastic uh, from the cowl here from the cowl piece uh, in order to make it thin enough so that when it rests rests over the cape it stays flat for the most part because you can see it right here how it juts out you know over the uh, there you go you see how it juts out over the um, over the cape um, if I were to just apply some heat on this I would and hold it down it would stay you know curved down um, which I actually did do that. So I guess over time, it, it, the the, um, the plastic will just go back to its natural state. But yeah, other than that, um, this is the um, you know the custom that I made. Um, I like how uh, the cape flows and it looks, you know, in a standing pose. I may go over and do the same customization that I did on the um, the uh, reactivated Batman, where I cut into the the thumb, so that way I can I'm able to thread the the cape in him and have him hold the um, the cape on his hand. But right now I have him some like something like this. But obviously it comes off. But yeah, uh, this is my um, my custom Jim Lee Hush Black and Gray uh, Batman. Um, I wanted to do a, another custom using another DC Direct to make the um, the uh, the uh, goddamn Batman version, but from the Frank Miller, the All Star Batman. But um, I think I mentioned that in a previous video. So I'm still looking for the right head sculpt using this body to make that version of uh, Batman. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know. But yeah, this is a pretty cool. This is a pretty cool figure, uh, in my opinion. Um, I really liked how the uh, the black turned out. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. There wasn't much to work on on this figure. I may do a black wash, I don't know, just to bring out all of those details there. <clears throat> and not have them so clean shaven. But yeah, other than that, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.